What's a good Arsenal season now? I think if Arsenal finish fifth, they have to be more than happy with that. Let's keep in mind that they're only four points off United, who mm. were in fifth. And then there's a, a bit of a gap. I think it's another five points off to Chelsea in, in fourth. Um, I, I don't see them necessarily making up that ground on, on Chelsea, but certainly the four points to United, given the inconsistencies we, we've seen from not just United, but Spurs, it, it's within touch and distance. Mm. But a lot has to go right fast. And as good a performance as this one I, I, and the result, as much as I may have praised the performance despite the result against Chelsea, it, you're still not sure that Arsenal can deliver this consistently. We take it for what it is, but Arteta still has a lot of work to do between now and the end of the season. We were watching the game together and you were like, right, how's this going to finish down at half-time? I said, oh, it's going to be 2-2. Two -two. Arsenal mm. going to muck this up. United are going to come out mm. with more energy in mm. the second half. They didn't. No. There was absolutely nothing positive to say about that United performance. And there was no structure about their play. You know, when, when players got on the ball in midfield, I couldn't see where their next forward pass was going to be. There was no link-up play between the front players. There was a lack of drive. There was a lack of energy. Uh, they didn't, we weren't able to play out from the back and get it into wide areas to get crosses into the box. Because when they crossed the ball into the box, who was going to be in there to get on the end of it? It was a very strange performance from Manchester But I suppose we should expect it these days because they're so inconsistent. One week they look a real threat on the counter-attack. The next week when the opposition dropped that little bit deeper, yeah. they can't break the opposition open. But I thought Arsenal were, were a little bit risky in, in the way and how deep they played. Um, and they turned into the counter-attacking team mm. in the second half. But maybe that's recognising that Manchester United simply have no real creativity in, in midfield. And unless you can get the likes of, of Rashford and Martial in behind, you're not quite sure where, where United are, are getting their goals from. And that's how the entire second 45 played out. But to, to your point, Dan, I share your concern, especially given what we saw from Chelsea. If United got one, you're not quite sure how this would have panned out. Crowd maybe a little bit nervy. Would that have translated to, to the... The pitch as well. But they didn't even look like they are getting no, they that, that, no. was a, that was a kind of key takeaway. It was so pedestrian. Well, Lingard is lacking confidence. Every time the ball came to him, he looked like he was going to lose possession. He couldn't find a forward pass. Matic slowed everything down. He actually played quite well. Matic didn't give the ball away, but he slowed everything down, and they didn't really want that. And Fred had one of those games that he was having when he first came to Manchester United, where he didn't look to be that sort of creative player. How do we make Harry Maguire so far? Of course, a big money signing in the summer. Yep. Leicester are flying without him. He didn't play well today. There's no way that Lacazette should turn him as easily as he did once or twice in the box. He wasn't quite so good on the ball. He's probably the best centre-half on the ball. He didn't show that today. He made poor decisions. He was slow with his passing, maybe because the movement wasn't good enough in front of him. But just a couple of times it went out to him. You think, go on, play it forward now. And he, he went back inside, tried to play a cross-field ball, which was cut out. And it encouraged Arsenal and the crowd, let's go and press them. Manchester United on a good time so, uh, team at the moment. Yeah, I, I, against, against smaller forwards who were willing to put the ball down and, and take him on, and as you rightly say, Lacazette was just having a, a field day with, 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 uh, with, with Maguire. And then, at times, even up at the other end, you're looking for him for set pieces, didn't really have much of an impact in, in that regard as well. It's, it's been disappointing from a player who I thought promised so much, given what we've seen at Leicester and in particular with the, with the England team. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.